bag of potato. I'll save you. Bye, dingy. It's done. It certainly is largish, isn't it? The first underground city ever built above the ground. Let's contact the judging committee. That pewter pickaxe is in the bag. Mm -hmm. ah! Must have misread the plans and missed a specification or two. Back for the hills! She's coming down! I'm sorry, Grandpappy. I don't think you're gonna win the pewter pickaxe now. Nope. Guess you're pretty disappointed in your grandsonny. Nope. You're not? Nope. I don't understand. I knew it'd never work. Fun part was dreaming it up. If I'd have built it, I wouldn't have anything left to dream about. You mean to say my own dear grandpappy is nothing but a dreamer? Yep. Well... I guess some of us are doers, and some are just dreamers. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps, Gopher, if you put your grandfather's dreaming together with your doing... Why, there'd be no stopping you. But, 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 by ding-dangy, you're right! What say we build that on-the-ground underground city you've been dreaming about? We can put it right here! Afraid this plant's gotta go, Rabbit. Oh, my! Is it Tuesday the 15th already? How time flies. Five and a half years went by, just like that. Yeah, seems to me every city needs some flowers in it. Where will leave it be. Oh, my. But the rest still have to go.